So now talking about the semi-infinite rod. Yes, we'll again start off with the same thing. We had this finite rod and what is semi-infinite rod is that one end you are saying that it is finite and the other end becomes uh, infinite or extends till infinity, all right? Now, if at this point P, I need to find the value of electric field, net electric field, what I can say that I have got two components, right? One was the parallel component. Another one is the perpendicular component. But what has changed is the values of the angle. So obviously in this case, the value of alpha is equal to zero degree and the value of beta is equal to 90 degree, right? What was the expression that we knew? We knew that E parallel or the parallel component of the electric field is equal to KQ by LR times we had cos beta minus cos alpha, cos beta minus cos alpha, right? Now try substituting the value of alpha and beta in this. If you substitute instead of alpha 0, so cos 0 will be equal to 1. So this will be minus 1 and cos beta that is beta is equal to 90. So that will be equal to 0. You end up getting E parallel is equal to minus and Q by L can be written in terms of lambda, right? So minus K lambda by R, minus K lambda by R. What does it mean? We had taken this direction. If you remember, in case of a finite rod, we had taken this direction as the parallel component and we have taken this direction as positive, correct? So we have got minus k lambda by r. It means that the parallel component will be along this direction. All right, along this direction. This is the parallel component. What about perpendicular component? Well, E perpendicular, let me write down the formula, was again equal to, I can write it as k lambda by r times sin alpha plus sin beta, sin alpha plus sin beta. Again, you plug in the value of alpha and beta, what you end up getting? This is equal to k lambda by r only, right? Because once you put the value of alpha is equal to zero, that will be equal to sin zero, which is equal to zero. So you'll be le left with k lambda by r sin beta. So sin beta, beta is equal to 90 degrees, so sin 90 is equal to one. So you have the perpendicular component or E perpendicular is equal to K lambda by R, correct? Okay, and perpendicular component is positive, which means this direction only, positive E perpendicular, correct? So which means this will be the direction of the perpendicular component. This will be the direction of perpendicular component. All right, so this is E perpendicular. Now, what is the net direction? Both of them, as you can see, in terms of magnitude, they are equal. So the net direction of the electric field will be in this direction. This is going to be the net direction of electric field. All right. Okay. This is going to be the net direction of the electric field. And obviously, what you can write as the magnitude of the net direction, that is going to be root over of E parallel squared plus E perpendicular square. And you get, if you substitute that, the magnitude of E net is going to be equal to root over of e parallel squared plus e perpendicular squared and that is nothing but because both of them are equal that is going to be equal to root 2 times of k lambda by r root 2 times of k lambda by let me write it properly root 2 times of k lambda by r and this is the result that is very very important remember the direction this is the direction of e net all right both the components are equal. You have got an idea about the direction. Why did I make it like that? Right? And the final result. All right. So, if you think about it, the direction of the electric field, the value of alpha, beta, the result that you know, and the value of the net field, which is very, very important. If, if in case, the question is asked in such a way that this is rotated. Let's rotate this. Okay. Then also, you are going to get the same value of E parallel and E perpendicular. And if you try to draw the net direction of electric field, it is this direction only. No problem. This is the net direction. All right. So this is how you can figure out the value of the net electric field in case of a semi-infinite wire where this point is closer to the finite end. All right. And obviously, I've told you about the value of alpha and beta. 
and the final result is what is very very important the final direction and what we have got in terms of the magnitude of the net electric field which is equal to root 2 k lambda by r no problem all right 